with my life is a miracle. Every child has a story of, of God's love to share. Shalom world, tune into God's love story. Would you rather only eat grass or only eat dirt for the rest of your life? Mm, grass, that's an easy one for me. Sometimes I eat it. Oh yeah. Sometimes I forget you're a bird. Okay, your turn. Hmm, would you rather be able to fly whenever you wanted, but go really slowly like a granny, or run as fast as a car and never get tired? Huh, that's a hard one. I do really want to fly, even if it was slow, but then running as fast as a car sounds really cool too. Huh, I know, I'll choose both. What? You can't choose both. That's against the rules. It's what you rather, not what you like. Well, what are you gonna do about it, Mr. Coco? Huh, huh, huh? If my friend can choose both, then so can I. Friends that help me every day. Katie and Coco that help me every day. Katie and Coco. What friend? I'll tell you. Come and play. Play with Katie and Coco. That's the way. Get ready, let's go. Flying through the air with Coco. Telling stories with Katie. You and I together. Meeting my friends. Friends that help us every day. Katie and Coco. That help us every day. Katie and Coco. Play and sing. Pray and bring you and I. We do our thing. It's Katie and Coco. It's good to be back! Can you tell a story now? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Okay, let's go to the story time. Ah. You kids love your friends. Well, Jesus said that there is no greater love than to lay down your life for a friend or a stranger in the case of my friend, Maximilian Colby. For him, everyone were his friends, whether he knew them or not. Because if Jesus loved everyone, then Maximilian did not want to be any different. Would you? From the age of 12, Maximilian knew that his life would be dedicated to God. One night, he was visited by our Blessed Mother Mary. And when he asked what would become of him in his life, Mary showed him two crowns. One crown was white and the other crown was red. Which crown are you willing to accept? Mary asked him. The white crown meant he would persevere in purity and the red crown meant he would become a martyr. Wait a sec, let's go over that again. Help me remember, what colour crown was the pure crown? Was it yellow? No. Was it orange? No. Coco, what are the kids saying? No. White? White! Thank you so much. The white crown was the pure crown. But what colour was the crown to be a martyr again? Was it brown? No. Was it green? Hmm. No. What, what are the kids saying, Coco? No. Red? Oh, thank you. The red crown was the martyr crown. What crown did he choose? Well, Maximilian chose both crowns because he wanted to accept anything that God was offering him. He wanted to be pure and to become a martyr. Do you kids know what a martyr is? I know, I know. Is it someone who goes to the markets? <laughs> to the markets? Well, not quite, but it's a good guess. Okay, another guess, another guess. Is it someone who wants to change their name to Martin? <laughs> Change their name to Martin? Well, no, but I can see where you're coming from. For a Christian to be a martyr, it means to give up your life for Jesus and to live in heaven with him. So did Maximilian give up his life for Jesus? That's right, and now he lives with Jesus in heaven. How did it happen? I'll tell you. Maximilian grew up in a country in Europe called Poland during the last century. Now, when your kids are older, you're going to learn about something called World War II. 
As the name suggests, it was a great big war that involved many different countries and lasted for seven years. Now, Poland was one of the countries that was most affected by the war because some bad people called the Nazis had taken control over the country and also many of the countries nearby. The Nazis didn't like lots of different kinds of people. They were mean and proud and thought that only they were good enough to live. But the people they especially didn't like were the Jews. Tiny, who were the Jews? The Jews are a race of people who follow the Jewish religion. They originally came from Israel, where Jesus lived. Was Jesus a Jew then? That's right, he was a Jew. But his followers, like you and I, are called Christians. Why did the Nazis like the Jews, Katie? Well, they had many silly reasons. But the main one was that the Jews were good with money and the Nazis were afraid of them. Now, sometimes we can't help it if we don't like someone, can we? But what should we do if that happens? Talk to them nicely and sort out that problem. That's right, Coco. But do you think the Nazis did that? No, they were so nasty. <laughs> Unfortunately, they were nasty. And instead of sorting out the problem, they wanted to get rid of the Jews altogether. That's terrible! It's very terrible, Coco. But luckily, there were people like our friend Maximilian. He was a Franciscan priest who lived in a place called a monastery. Stand and when the Nazis ground. started arresting the Jews, Maximilian knew he had to do something to help. So he hid 2,000 people inside his monastery to keep them safe from the Nazis. But sadly, this was not to last. The Nazis soon found out he was hiding the Jews and then arrested him as well. He was taken far away to a terrible prison called a concentration camp, along with many others, many of whom were kids just like you, who would never return home to see their families or play with their friends at the park or at soccer or even to celebrate their birthdays. Imagine that, they must have been so sad. My friends always complain when we can't see each other. Mine too, Coco. But luckily, they had Maximilian, who helped them every day to never give up hope. What did he hope for? To escape? Maybe he did, Coco. But the escape Maximilian really longed for was not to return home to Poland, but to go to his home in heaven, where he would see Jesus and Mary and all of his friends. And with heaven to look forward to, None of his sufferings could bother him for long. He simply offered them up and found strength in spreading his hope around all of his fellow prisoners. Like when you make me happy when I'm sad? Exactly, Coco. And eventually, Maximilian was given a chance to prove this in a life and death situation. After a prisoner had tried to escape the camp, the Nazis wanted to punish some other prisoners to frighten anyone else from doing the same thing. The guards chose a group of men at random. I want you, and you, and you, and you. Come here. But one of the prisoners didn't want to go. Please, you can't take me, I have a family, please. This was the moment that Maximilian seized. He stepped forward and traded places with the man, a stranger, but nevertheless a friend. And he went with the rest of the prisoners to a cell where they were locked up and given no food. Oh no! He must have been so sad! That's right, Coco. Normally, you would be very sad in this situation. But remember Maximilian's hope? Yes. He hoped to go to heaven? Yeah, exactly. And even being starved, he couldn't be sad and lose hope. Did he help the other prisoners then as well? Of course he did. He led them in prayers to Mary, who he still loved so much, and sang songs praising God gradually farewelling each of his companions peacefully. But after two weeks when he was still alive with no food, the guards came in themselves and sent him home to heaven while he prayed for them. Wow, Maximilian was very brave. Exactly, he was Coco. And it was God who gave him the strength to be so brave. And if we ask God, he can help us to be brave just like Maximilian. Let's ask him now. Good idea, Coco. Thank you, God, for giving Maximilian your spirit of bravery. And thank you, St. Maximilian Colby, for accepting the challenges given to you. Help us to love God and others in every day, in everything that we do. Coco amazing! <laughs> Maximilian, Maximilian, Maximilian. You have some awesome friends, Katie. A friend that makes... Two. Huh?
What? I've only introduced you to two of my friends so far, Coco. Only two? Well, each of them are worth ten, I reckon. Or a hundred. A thousand. <laughs> I'm glad you like them so much. I can't help it. A lazy laser razor lies a laser ray eraser. On a lazy laser razor lies a laser ray eraser. What are you doing? Don't sound so scared. There's no need to be scared. Really? Because it sounds like you're doing a... A, 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 a what? A dead twister! <gasps> then you'd be right. Bravo, what a smart bird. Let's try it all together. I'll tell you how it goes and then you can repeat after me. On a lazy laser razor lies a laser ray of razor. Okay, let's break it in half and then you repeat after me. On a lazy laser razor, your turn. On a lazy laser razor. On a lazy laser. Razor. Razor. Lies. Lies. A laser. A laser. Razor. Razor. Eraser. Eraser. Wait a second. Let's try that all together one more time. On a lazy laser razor lies a laser ray eraser. I think we got it. I think we got it. Oh, high five, Coco. Yeah. Good job, kids. Ah. We got it. Awesome. Yes. If you say so. Let's do craft now. I need to rest before we do it again. <laughs> Good idea. Let's go make some craft. Yeah. Ah. Maximilian had a great love for Mary. Even in the hardest of times, he never gave up his hope that Mary would always be there to protect him. So, just like Maximilian, we're going to make something to remind us that Mary is always going to be there to protect us. Does that sound like a good idea, Coco? Yeah! Awesome. So, what we've got here is this picture of Mary here. Now, I'm not a very good drawer, so I've got this one printed out. We're also going to draw a picture of ourselves and then we're going to put it on a stick and then we're going to flip it around and then it will look like Mary is always there on our side protecting us. Ah. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, so shall we start? What we've got here, um, we need some colouring textures and some colouring pencils and a piece of card. I've chosen yellow, but you can choose whatever colour you like and a piece of white paper and the stick and a pencil, some scissors, glue, sticky tape and a ruler. Okay, let's start, shall we? First of all, we'll start with colouring in the picture of Mary. So you can use whatever colours you like. I think I'm going to start with blue. Here we go. So there's Mary's cloak, and now we use and go for the rays coming out of her hands. That looks good, Katie. Thanks, Coco. Takes a bit of a wild colouring. You can use whatever colours you like, though. Maybe next you can draw me. I don't think I'm that good, Coco. Maybe some of the kids might be able to draw you, though. Ha! Okay, there we go. There's our picture of Mary coloured. Oh, I wish I could colour like you, Katie. Yeah, well, I'm sure the kids will be able to do some pretty good colouring as well. Now, what we're doing after that, so this piece of paper that she's on is a bit big, so we're just going to cut her a little bit smaller. So get your scissors. Now, scissors are very sharp, so be very careful with scissors. So we're just going to trim the edges like this. Make it a bit smaller. There we go. Now, there we have Mary. Okay, next, we'll put Mary to the side for a bit. There we go. Next, we're going to draw um, a simple picture of yourself. So I'm going to draw me. So I'll get this another piece of white paper here. Now it doesn't need to be very big, just about the same size or a bit smaller than your Mary. So if you if you need a bit of scale, help with scaling, you can put Mary there next to it. And then you 
can draw you there. Okay, I'm gonna use some textures for this one. Okay, so I'm gonna get me. Now some of you might be better drawers than me, but I'm just gonna do a very simple picture. So here's my me. And my lots of hair. That's how you gotta tell it's me. It can be very simple. You could even print out maybe a photo of yourself. That might be better if you'd like to do that. That looks just like you, Katie. <laughs> Does it really, Coco? Thank you so much. Yeah, I can tell I'm a really good um, artist. Okay, so what we're gonna do with that now, we're gonna cut our picture of ourselves out with these, with scissors again. So be very careful. Just outline it like this. There we go. There's me and there's Mary together. Wow. Okay, we don't need that piece of paper anymore. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to stick these pictures of Mary and of yourself onto the yellow card. So we might put it this way. Stick one there. Stick it onto the card like this. Okay, so now we're gonna stick the picture of you um, just next to Mary, like that. Okay. Okay, so now we've got to cut out the card. So cut out a separate part for Mary and a separate part for you, if you to make sure it's the same height. So use a ruler, then draw with your pencil a straight line of, across the top, like that, just to the however much you need. And then in the middle of, your, of the two, you might need to ask for someone's help with this, or you might be able to do it on your own. Okay, and then another one on this side. Make sure it's the same. So here we are. Very careful using the scissors again, because we don't want to get cut, do we, Coco? No, Katie, no! Wouldn't be good at all. Cut there, and then cut along the top. Katie, what do I do if I don't have a ruler? If you don't have a ruler, you can just use the edge of the card. That can that can help, or it doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. So we've got two midges like that. Check that they're the same size. Good. Okay. Now we're going to get stick. We're going to put it on one side like this. Then we get our sticky tape. Tape it on at the bottom and at the top. Okay, so there's one half. Now we're going to stick the other half on this side and then this time the sticky tape will have to go around the edges. So Stick it on the bottom and another piece for the bottom. There we go. And now, so you've got one on one side and one on the other side and then when you Flip it around like this. It looks like Mary and you are always together. She's always on your side helping you. Wow, that's like magic, Katie. It wow. is like magic. Isn't that awesome? So if you ever feel like you're alone or you need some help, just remember that Mary is always there on your side to protect you. If you guys would like extra instructions on how to make these, or if you'd like to find this image of Mary, you can find that at swpals.org. And what else would we like to see, Coco? Them. Yeah, we'd like to see you guys making your own images and the craft for this Maximilian Colby. And you can take a photo of it and upload it on the page, maybe with you there. 
and we can also see what you guys look like when you make the picture of yourself. Wow, look at me. Look, I'm just like the stick. Who needs to make that when you have me around? Getting dizzy? No. Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh. Oh. Lucky your stick doesn't get dizzy. Very lucky. Hey, maybe I'll be better than that because the one dizzy. Uh, I'm not sure. All right, I'll try. On a lazy ray of laser, lies a bed full of tasers and a razor and a phaser. Oh. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't. How about let's try it properly now, okay? All right. I'll remind you and then you can repeat after me. On a lazy laser razor lies a laser ray a razor. First half, on a lazy laser razor on a lazy laser razor lies a laser ray a razor. Lies a laser ray a razor. Wow, Coco, hardly know what you're afraid of anymore. And your kids are getting so good as well. But it's time to say goodbye now. Hi, hi kids. Coco, did you say hi? It's the end of the show, not the start. I know that. Well, then why did you say hi? Because... Because I was going to say hi and then bye. Okay, well, why don't we say just bye now, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Bye, bye kids! Coco, I thought we agreed on saying bye. What? I thought you meant we should say bye after we said hi. What? Why would I? You know what? Never mind. <laughs> bye, kids! Bye, kids! Bye, kids! See? That's what I was gonna do. Pray and sing. Pray and bring. You and I, we do our thing, it's Katie and Coco. Say Maximilian Colby, he never gets oldie. Come and play, play with Katie and Coco. That's the way, get ready, let's go. Flying through the air with Coco. Telling stories with Katie. You and I together, meeting my friends. Friends that help us every day. Katie and Coco. Bring you and I, we do our thing, it's Katie and Coco.